Hi, I'm Jimmy the Tyler. Welcome to Ralph's house. There's all the new tiles. Hopefully the plasterer don't swear. <laughs> anyway, but they're long ones. And uh, we're going to run without a border. Uh, plaster and tiler seems to think it'll look fine without one. And uh, like I said, they are a pain. Especially the glass ones because the tile grout doesn't stick to them properly and then you get water in and then it starts going mouldy. And you certainly don't want it on plasterboard. So that's the uh, wall tiles. Well, I'll tell you what, Jimmy's got that absolutely square right around. And the walls in this bathroom never were square. Skirtings off, so we can tile right down to the floor. Mm. These guys are good. Down here, I've been sorting this light switch out. Because originally, when you used to come in and I'm standing with my back to the front door, the switch wasn't there. Oh no, no, you had to walk at least four paces to the light switch. You know, it's a long way from the door, especially when you're coming in the dark. So it makes sense if you're going up the stairs, you'd expect the switch to be there. Well, you would, wouldn't you? And likewise, when you're coming from the front door, you haven't got, got too far to reach for the switch. So that's the idea of this. That's why I chased this up the wall. And I'll fill that one over. I won't use that anymore. So there should be a switch for the upstairs landing. So it's two way. At the moment it's only one way. You'd have to go up there to switch it on. So I need to be able to switch it on from down here as well. And there'll be another cable for the wall lights. One there. I've chased that one in. Uh, tomorrow I'll chase that one in. And there'll be another wire, either for the porch light, or I may or may not retain this light up here. I haven't decided yet. I'm pretty sure these wall lights will light this whole way. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I also want an outside light, so when you come up the path, the light comes on. So that is a bit of a pain in the dark. So uh, that will need. To, oh, you will need a switch outside in the porch, high up. So you can actually isolate it if you need to change a light a bulb or something like that on that outside light. So you're not working on a live wire, so it has got to have a switch for that one. But I'll put the, put, put the switch up high in the porch out of the way, so I can turn that on or off. So I've kind of sussed out the lights down here anyway. And uh, doing the upstairs wiring has been interesting. Doing the lights is fairly straightforward because it's all in the loft. And you're just dropping down wires for switches, pendants, spotlights, whatever. It's all one circuit and it's 
a single ended circuit, it doesn't come back around in a ring, not on a lighting circuit. The next circuit down, well that's the sockets of course, so you run all the sockets around on that floor, but when you do that, what, what happens? Your boards are up, and these wires also run on that floor. They drop down, you see, so you can't put the boards down until you've dropped in all the cables for these downstairs lights. So even though I won't be connecting these until perhaps warmer weather, I've got to have the cables there and ready to go. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, yeah, it is. Uh, trying to retain a 3D puzzle in your head and I would imagine it's pretty much the same for plumbers um, so today is Thursday we'll be back again in the morning by the magic of video of course and hopefully we can have a little chat with Jimmy about tiling you know about his experience doing them uh, some of his stories are <laughs> quite funny so uh, yeah that'll be nice rather than listening to me all the time yeah, so we'll have a chat with Jimmy in the in the morning. The plumber likes to stay elusive. He doesn't like being on video. Some people don't, and that's fine. An excellent plumber. Very quiet man, but he's really good at what he does. Um, yes, I like him a lot. So we've got a couple of good guys doing this. I'll get on well with. And uh, he will at some point, Jimmy, have a look at my kitchen. Oh, pipes. These tiles were put on in the 1930s. I don't know what's going to happen when I remove them, but they have got to come off. I need to get this. I need to get this whole kitchen square and true, all the way to the bottom. Once that's done, I can then think about putting cupboards in. I can think about. Although I quite like these quarry tiles, they're a bit old now, and unfortunately, there's been a bit of cement patchwork for whatever reason. So the best bet really would be to just retile this whole floor. So that's my plan with that long term. Floor tiles aren't that expensive really. Uh, yeah, so I need help. I need help with that. I will pull all these sockets out. I shall run new ones in at, um, once these tiles are off a, a better height than that. They're a little bit on the high side from a work top. Look. They are the high, aren't they? So uh, you know, I shall run a new a new uh, socket circuit around here um, and I'm not sure what's going at the end I don't know there's no drain there that's the problem it would be nice to have a downstairs toilet but it's an expensive thing I have to read but either way whether I do that or not this whole lot has got to be plastered I can put in, put in stud walls I can make small separate rooms I can make this a small bathroom at the end here if I wanted to but you know, I've still got to uh, get the whole thing flat, and it's far from flat. Yeah, look at, look at this. <laughs> Wouldn't really want to pay for that, would you? Nice. You know, it doesn't need to. I mean, I can get the paper off, but what's this? Just a hollow block of wire presume this. Know me father, and the fact there's hinges on it. Oh, it does hinge up. I wonder what's in there. What magical thing are we going to find? Let's have a go. Oh, I see. So the outside has just got plasterboard on it. No wonder this kitchen's cold. Heavens above. Why don't you put bricks in? It's an odd one, isn't it? Yeah, all these things that you find. Just think, you could keep your money in there and nobody would know. That's not money, it's just a block of wood. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I want all my dad's amazing wiring. Which no no way would this pass anything. <laughs> it worked, you know, but uh, that was the way he did things. That and polyfiller and newspaper, he loved those materials. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan for the kitchen. But uh, Jimmy said get the tiles off and then uh, give me a shout and he'll come and have a look and see what he thinks to get it plastered out for me. be rather nice. I could do that. Get all these sockets in. Get all the electrics done. I've already got a cable up there. You see what I mean? By dropping cables down from the floor above. That was one I did for the lights. All I've done there is just drop one single cable. So at least I know I can 
power and light fitting up there even if I haven't connected it on the next floor yet so yes that's it from Raoul's house for today see the little like thing the thumbs up do press that for me you know it's only a second to do and it does help on my videos and um, leave a comment if you like oh and don't forget to subscribe